Alright guys, welcome back. I'm going to uh, show you some super cool stuff right now, and I kind of just gave it away by clicking over to the main screen here, but uh, you need you need some good photos, and you don't need a ton, but you need some good photos uh, for your social media profiles. Uh, I'm going to approach this two different ways. The first way is going to the website Groupon.com, and when you go to Groupon, I typed in... Um, photo shoot or something like that. The cool thing about this was this was right around Christmas time, as you can see here. Uh, the Groupon was for $30, okay? $30, and, you know, you can laugh, but we'll get into why this is cool. $30 for a photo shoot at JCPenney at the mall, all right? Have a little laugh about that, but now I'm about to school your ass. JCPenney at the mall probably did not hire some second-rate photographer with no experience to work in their uh, department store photo studio. Now, granted, it's probably not the best photographer on earth, but you have to understand the thinking behind this, and, and this is where the value really comes in for this course. Are you ready for this? No one else talks about this kind of stuff, and no one else is showing you this kind of stuff, and that's why I'm trying to bring you the real value here. J.C. Penney, department store, right? What do they normally shoot? Families, uh, newborn photos, wedding photos, pregnancy photos, families. So they're set up to give you a pretty damn good standard product right off the bat. They've got lighting. They've got the weird umbrella deflector light things. They've got backdrops. They've got tripods. They've got... A photographer that knows how to use that stuff and knows what they're doing okay and you can plainly see that because when I looked up their portfolio I mean they were pictures that weren't real relevant to me as far as like a family standing by a fireplace or whatever but here's the thing the photos looked good the lighting was correct it was a good quality capture of a moment in life so guess what for 30 bucks, I got a photo shoot at basically a pretty damn near pro studio with a great photographer with the proper lighting. I know my photos are going to be professional. They're going to look good, and it's all for $30. You can't get a photo shoot for $30 almost anywhere. Now, if you can't afford $30, and we're going to jump back into JCPenney because I've got more to talk about this. If you can't afford $30 for a photo shoot, you can always go to your local college, Craigslist, post some flyers at your local college or cafe. Find yourself usually a, a you know a younger person who's getting into photography, maybe an older person who's who's a hobbyist, and they'll do it for free. Problem with free is they usually don't have a studio, they usually don't have lighting. You'll probably have to do it outside, and then you're gonna have to go on Fiverr. Remember, like we talked about with your logo and branding and get somebody to edit those photos pretty hardcore because these are DJ EDM photos. And so you having your picture taken in a field or a meadow or even a graffiti wall isn't always good. Here's why. Same thing with the logo issue. A logo that looks good on a screen isn't necessarily relevant and good for a flyer. DJ EDM producer photos are pretty cut and dry. Nothing distracting in the background. So the focus is on your bust, basically. Like basically from your upper chest up to your head. Um, a lot of DJ photos they're not smiling in. I don't get that personally. I like to smile and show my personality. It works with my branding. Um, so I, that's, that's the approach I take, but I don't divert from what most other DJs do, which is having a very plain background. Black, white, beige, whatever it is, it's plain, it's well lit, and the focus is on me. Um, a lot of people, like I said, make the mistake of hiring you know, somebody for free to do it and it seems like a good idea to do a graffiti background, we will talk about that for content. But when it comes to a club or a promoter contacting you, you need to be ready with professional photos with the focus on you, not the background, and a logo that works on a flyer. 
okay? We'll talk about content photo shoots soon. For now, we're just talking about flyer style photo shoots, professional photos for um, promotion reasons, promotional reasons for like tour posters, flyers, things of that nature. So back to JCPenney here, 30 bucks for a photo shoot. You know, I'm not going to get 200 photos for free on this. It's one professional photography shoot with three image digital album and one standard print. The standard print, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. That's not really my focus here. It's the three digital images that are my focus. Three good headshots is all you really need. Uh, all you really need is one, but three is great for 30 bucks. You can't beat that. Now, here's the thing. Look at what the original value of this was, $125. So I got a $125 value for 30 bucks. That's a pretty darn good deal when you consider I'll be in. I mean, it'll be a department store, but once again, a pro studio, good lighting, good camera, a good operator, photographer that knows what they're doing. You can't beat that. Now, real quick though, before I logged into my account on Groupon, just want to show you because this is a perfect example of what I was talking about at the end of the last social media video. I went on Groupon and I typed in photo shoot. Look what pops up. We've got girls in their undies uh, basically promoting, um, I can't remember what kind of uh, photo style they call this, but it's it's like tasteful, sexy um, photo shoots, most usually of women. Uh, yeah, that's that's the word there, boudoir or boudoir or something. Um, doesn't really matter. You can have a good laugh at that if I'm totally wrong. But yeah, I mean you can see it's it's women in their undies doing kind of sort of classic pinup style photos. Now, if if that looks good to you and you think that you want the that if the price is right and you know it's a pro studio never mind the half naked women go for it because it's going to help you but this is a perfect example of what I'm talking about where if you have a partner that's uptight and there's you know not naked but you know suggestive photos of women while you're just looking for a photo shoot it could get you into some hot water but really you know I would hope that you were all um striving for something where you're not going to get in hot water for something as ridiculous as that. But that was a classic example of what I'm talking about. I didn't want to harp on it. I just thought it was funny because I just got done talking about that. I type in Groupon.com. I type in photo shoot on Groupon.com and two girls pop up in their undies. And uh, well, there you have it. So um, yeah, guys, that's a really great way to to get yourself a photo shoot that is professional, uh, but not breaking the bank. You can go the free route, um, but just understand that you're really going to probably have to be the manager of the photo shoot as well as the subject. And that can be very tricky. It can be hard to get into a model state of mind when you're also the one trying to manage the photo shoot. Um, I've done a lot of free photo shoots. I've, I've you know, I've found college students or, or older retirees they're great with a camera. They're used to capturing sunsets and trees. Sunsets and trees don't really talk back. So what happens is they're not used to a subject, a, a, a human subject, and 90% of the photos are not great, to say the least. Um, so I then realized I'm going to have to manage these photo shoots and I'm going to have to literally ask them things like, do I look stupid right now or do I need to move my hand? And um, that can be kind of tricky when you're trying to be the manager or the director behind the camera instructing the photographer as well as the subject in front of the camera trying to project a vibe. Um, not real sexy, doesn't set you up for a real good day, and um, frankly, it's, it's a little bit awkward trying to lead somebody that should be able to lead themselves. So I know that sounds a little harsh, but... Um, you know, it's a, it, it ends up being a waste of time, and um, I really don't like wasting time because, you know, we don't have all the time in the world. So um, just something to think about if you're going to go the free route. I would be fully prepared for that. I only had one photographer in Miami who did it for free, 
that absolutely rocked it. I mean, absolutely rocked it. And I'm sure that that guy is an ultra successful photographer now because he oozed professionalism um, even when he was doing stuff for free. And maybe that's a little tip that you can think about as well as a DJ and producer. So, um, yep, that's photos for uh, for your, your social media, you know, just as like a pro headshot photo. I would go and do that if I were you. Um, of course, you don't have to wait for a coupon code style website. If you have the cash and you're not going to miss it, go out, whatever it is, hire a photographer for 200, 300, thousand bucks, whatever it's going to be, and just get some good photos made. But be very careful about throwing your money around. Make sure it's going to a good photographer that really knows what they're doing. Um, in the case that I'm in here, 30 bucks. I know that I'm probably going to get a pretty damn good headshot from it. Um, and if not, which is unlikely because of everything I went over, where it's at, and the equipment that they have and their ability, even if not, guess what? It's 30 bucks. You don't want to be wasteful with money, but I'd rather lose 30 bucks on a chance and likely get great photos from it uh, than waste 300 on somebody who is private, um, isn't really held accountable, and has their own kind of thing going on and can kind of do whatever they want. So just be aware of that. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.